Hi there, this is Fixed It. After connecting up the Z axis switches, I put some plastic sleeving around them, winding that up until it reached the top so it's all rigidly held in place. I then fed the Z axis cable along the trunking and out at the back of the machine. I immediately then labelled each of the cables X, Y, and Z. The problem is I then started needing to cut the cables to length in order to fit into a four pin plug. What I decided to do was to draw one dark line around the Z cable, two dark lines around the Y cable and three dark lines around the Z cable. I then cut these cables to length and fed them into a four pin plug. Of course the question is where am I going to fit it? Looking at the back of the controller I noticed that the height gauge is using a standard power plug which is roughly the same size as the other four pin plugs for the X, Y and Z axis. So I decided to relocate that plug and to use that hole to put my new four pin in for the end stop switches for X, Y and Z. For the height gauge I just used a 3.5mm socket and I noticed that just below the other sockets there were some holes that were unused and by bending the pins on a 3.5 millimeter socket I was able to slot that in place without having to drill any more holes in the control box. To connect the four pin socket for the end stop switches I've used some Cat4 cable doubling up on the pairs and then fed them round onto the printed circuit board for the X, Y and Z and also for the high gauge. And you can see the socket in place and the cable run from that new socket all the way over to the printed circuit board. So that's it, it's all working and now what I need to do is to just set up the software and I'm ready to go. Hope you liked the video, if you do please subscribe to Fixed It. Please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with others and thanks for watching, bye.